the mobile has become an instrument of choice that is almost like an extended appendage. We don't go anywhere without our mobile. And the mobiles become, as I said, a life tool. So when you talk about a technology that is proliferating every part of life, mobile used by farmers in agriculture, mobile money, mobile used for health purposes, which is a big part of rural telemedicine and health, and mobile used in many different ways. It is the means of communications between young people. And as you go into emerging markets, the workforce is very young. The average is 26, 27 years old. That's the age of the, the workforce. Ubiquitous mobile and social media. So the ethical issues are around how you use the mobile for data collection. So for example, if you talk about HIV AIDS and the mobile is now the standard device for data collection from large rural areas, from populations who do not understand the importance of privacy and security and having that information available on large national and international databases. So that is an example of where ethics comes in. Particularly mobile health is an area where I feel the ethical concerns have to be most looked at because we're talking about individuals, their health, their privacy, and what you do ethically. So again, in the treatment of AIDS, there have been many examples of how a drug adherence or regimen adherence is uh, actually uh, monitored by the mobile. So people get alerts uh, on their mobile for what they need to take. I was in a case um, in looking at a, a clinic in Zambia where these texts were coming and there were some women very, very concerned that by those texts coming in, which was actually for their good, alerting them about adherence to their drug regimen, but they had not shared with anybody that they had HIV. And so this concern in terms of using technology in a broad way for being able to do very good things and yet that causing ethical and privacy concerns uh, becomes a major issue. So of course, we can talk about all of these issues and subjects, but who responds to them? Is there a particular body? Is it the corporations in their corporate social responsibility? or now more frequently known as corporate sustainability? Is it the government? Oh my gosh, government doing one more thing? Um, are these, should these be nonprofit organizations? Should they be advocacy organizations, social enterprises, bloggers, media, universities, uh, ethics departments and ethics centers like the one at Santa Clara? So my point is that this debate, and it has to be done in chunks so that we have actual results and not just ongoing debate. It has to involve the manufacturers, let's say of a mobile device, definitely the applications providers, definitely the students who are going to be the biggest users of this and who are going to use this with social media. So mobile and social media coming together touches pretty much every young person all over the world. It is the one thing that touches millions of youth in the most impoverished situations. I will never forget one example. Uh, we were talking about bringing light to a village and many different technologies, husk power, solar, wind, etc. So I asked the question in the Frugal Innovation Lab, some of the work we're doing, what is the first thing you would do when, when you get power into the village? And I thought they would talk about light, education, etc. And a majority of the people said, charge my mobile device. 